Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to help you to download the latest version of Citrix endpoint analysis software on your computer. So the first thing you have to do is go to google.com and type Citrix endpoint analysis download and hit enter. Once you hit enter, click on this link which comes up on the screen, the first one. Okay, it is taking us to citrix.com. So at any point in time, if uh, it asks you to sign in, if it asks you to type the credentials, then you may have to uh, create an account with Citrix to access and access this particular software. Okay, so once you log into Citrix portal, click on the first option, Citrix gateway plugins and clients, and then scroll it down uh come up and uh, you see various various details here uh depends upon your operating system if you are running windows 32 bit you can select this software or if you're running 64 bit or you can select this particular software so in in my scenario i'm selecting uh, citrix gateway endpoint analysis 64 bit so once you select it just scroll down okay now you see windows plugins here click on it scroll down scroll down and you see two softwares here one is citrix gateway and point analysis plugin for windows 32 bit and the other one is citrix gateway and point analysis plugin for windows 64 bit so i'm going to download for 64 bit click on yes i accept It is going to take a minute, so please bear with me. All right. Click click the checkbox and accept. Okay, so it is trying to download the file. Okay, click on show all or just try to access that particular software. Uh, just right click on it. Click on install. Okay, click install. So you see here Citrix Gateway Endpoint Analysis Setup. Click install. Click finish. All right, it seems like uh, the software has been installed successfully. So at this point in time, what you can do is you can just restart your computer after the software is installed on your computer, just restart your machine. And once you restart your machine, uh, you can try connecting to your Citrix environment to access your applications or virtual desktops or whatever. So I hope you find this uh, information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you very much.